見せてやる。本当の愛を。What's up, YouTube? This is Jason Undisputed. Back here again, this time with another unboxing video. And today, as you can see right here in front of me, we have the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG Main Game Phantom Nightmare Box to open for you guys today. Yes. Today is finally the release day of Phantom Nightmare and I am quite excited to open this box because it contains a lot of good support for a lot, quite a few old archetypes and you can see here the main cover card of the set is of course the brand new Ubel Fusion Monster. I actually did a video of the Ubel support cards so if you want to see the video please do check out my channel. Or I'll leave a link in the description box below. So yeah, let's get on to the box, shall we? So I'm not really looking for anything particular in this box. I'm just maybe wanting the new U Bell mod Fusion Monster because the artwork is just amazing. Because I'm quite a fan of U Bell, but it's just that U Bell hasn't really gotten any support for the last few years so yeah i never really wanted to make you well but then maybe you might know these things might change because of this box so yeah let's open it go for the first box so for anyone who is new to Yu-Gi-Oh, so a box contains 30 packs one pack contains five pack cards and then one box has around 11 foils so yeah if you're lucky 12 Foils, or I wouldn't say lucky because lucky you if you 12 points means it's a uh, holographic, so yeah, that might not be really, you know, not really want to pull that because you want to aim for the uh quarter century secret rare, so yeah. So let's start with the packs here. Oh, before I start, guys, if you notice here, this is a plus one bonus pack for the Phantom Nightmare, which I will open at the end of the video, so please do stay tuned. And of course, we have two more. Promo packs here is called the Hidden Chapter Pack. This is Volume Three of the Hidden Chapter Pack. If you watch my previous Yu-Gi-Oh openings, I did open uh, Hidden Chapter Packs from the previous volume. So I'm not sure what to expect from this three two packs, but yeah, I'll open them at the end of the video as well. And another thing to show you guys. So if you see here, this is the uh, if you buy a box of Phantom Nightmare from any uh, store any store you will get this ticket which allows you to join a special tournament that will that if you win you will get the black luster soldier normal monster so yeah pretty interesting gift over here so i cannot show you the other part of the ticket because it contains codes so yeah so this so just where after you buy a box make sure to get this ticket from them and ask them to stamp top stamp so yeah just take note of that so yeah, let's start on with the first box. So I'm gonna start with the right side first, as per usual. Right, let's see here. What we have, hoping to get any of the UBL cards. All right, so we have Magic Spectre. Yeah, Magic Spectre got some boosts. I'm not sure what is this. I'm not sure what is this at all. It's a normal monster. Okay, interesting. It's a dark normal monster. And for we have a rare. Next pack. This pack feels quite thick, so may, there might be a foil over here. Right, let's see here. We have for uh, this is a Karibo monster. Yes, quite interesting. Ah, yes, the Ubel Continuous Spell. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, no foil. I mean, it's a quick play spell. And yep, I was right. We have our uh, ultimate rare, and this is so we have Amorint Rosemary. So it says here it is a link three. And requirements is two plum monsters. And if this card is special summon, you can add one aroma card from your deck to your hand. You if you if you gain life points even during the damage step, you can special up to three aroma monsters from your hand to your zones. This card points to. You can tribute one card on the field, banish it, and if you do gain one thousand life points, you can reach each effect of this card once per turn. So yeah, that's a very interesting cards for Roma so yeah that is pretty interesting I didn't expect Roma to get a link monster normally their their ace cards are always synchro monsters but yeah that is their first link so yeah it's pretty cool and this is an ultimate rare by the way so yeah that our ultimate rare is down so that means we are left with 
Ultra, Super, and Secret. So yeah, let's see what else we get here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this is uh the fish archetype. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, they're getting support. It's pretty cool. Then a link monster for I remember this is a Kelbeck. Kelbeck is apparently something like that. Yeah, it's a Okay, we have a super rare. I'm guessing this is one of the new archetypes. What is this? Okay, so this is the effect monster for the new Goblin Rider archetype. That's pretty interesting. And we have the Ubel con another Ubel continuous spell for rare. Right? That's gonna be very good. Alright, I don't know why, but the packs are so hard to rip now. So, yeah, I better be careful. Okay, another one of the uh, fish uh, if effect uh, archetype cards. Then another card here. And we have a Magic Spectre Link Monster. Yes, Magic Spectre have Link Monsters now. And that is a rare. That's pretty cool. Right, another one of the fish archetype. Over here we have a super rare. Okay, apparently it's called Terrors of the Netherwood. Yeah, that's pretty nice. A super rare spell. Yeah. Alright, so we gotten the rare card for Yubel. This is the Shamshara. This card is broken. Like, Yubel depends on this in order to play. So, yeah. If you want to know the effect, just go watch my Yubel uh, video. In the link in the description box below. Right, another one. Another fish support. Hellback Sorceress. Yubel Continuous Spell. Ritual Spell. Not sure what ritual is this, but yeah. A rare card. Like I said, you see, it's so hard to rip the pack. Oh my god, I'm so, f I'm so afraid to open the pack now. Oh my god, what what's wrong with the pack style? Okay, you know what? I just gonna rip it from this side like this. I mean, that's normally the way to open the packs anyway. But I prefer opening from the back, you know, so you can see the card, you know. Okay, so we have. This is a fish. Is this a fish single monster? I don't know. It's a fire fish. Okay, that's quite interesting. Kill the dog. Continue spell for goblin. Yeah, it looks like goblin. Quick play spell and a rare second rare rare effect XC monster. Right, let's carry on. Raid Raptor support? Yes, Raid Raptors are getting boost in this pack as well and it's looking to be pretty strong. And we have a rare card. So another the same ex rare card over here. That's pretty interesting. Right. Oh my god. Oh screw it. I'm using a scissors. What's wrong with the packs today? I can't open them. Right, over here, fish effect, uh, support card, and we have an uh, ultra rare. What is this? Is this one of the new archetypes? Let me see here. Okay, so we have Goblin Rider Big Head Gabonga. Sorry, so two level three monsters. This card actually summon can add one Goblin monster from the deck to your hand. If a material is detached from a monster on the field, you can target one other face up. Monster on the field, attach it to this card as material. During the end phase, you can attach one Goblin Monster from the deck to this card as material. You can only use the effect of Goblin Rider head, Big Head Gabonga once per turn. Okay, so interestingly enough, the Goblin Archetype looks to have looks to be a deck that likes to attach more material. So yeah, that's quite an interesting deck over here. So let's continue. Right. Fish. Oh, this is the Grinder Golem. The brand new Grinder Golem. Right. We have a rare spell. Oh, look at that. I ripped the pack. Oh my god. That's so hard to open. My god. Magic Spectre. Fish. Fish. Uh, it's all oh, Earthbound Fusion. Very nice. A quick play. But. Sadly, it's not searchable by any of the Earthbound cards, which is pretty funny, but yeah, that's, a, that's still a very good spell, actually. I need it for my Earthbound deck anyway, so yeah, that's pretty good. And it's a quick play. The main thing is a quick play. 
Alright, it's a uh, hamster. Okay, hamster visual monster. That looks cool. Ooh, what is this? It looks cool. It's a dragon synchro monster. Dark. I'll go and check it out later. Red Raptor, continuous spell, a uh, continuous trap. And we have a uh, whale fusion monster. Is this part of the white archetype? I think it is a white archetype. Okay, that's interesting. Right, next pack. Okay, let's see here. Oh, never mind, I skipped to the point. Okay, though, so this is a super rare spell. I mean, Right now, this is the new Metamorphosis spell that does the exact opposite of Metamorphosis by tributing. If I don't tributing a fusion monster, then you can spell summon the effect monster from your deck with this. Either is it the same attack, uh, same attack or lower or same level? I can't remember, but yeah, I know it's a Metamorphosis. Look, look at that! I ripped the pack again. Right, goblin, hamster, another dragon, another dragon. Trap card, and we have an ultra rare. What is this? It's a dragon. That looks cool. So let me see here. Okay, we have Enter Machina Carnot. So, oh, it's not a dragon, it's a machine. Okay, cannot be normal summon or set. Must first beach person summon from your hand or graveyard during a duel. Your opponent activated a monster effect in their hand or graveyard. Okay, only special summon. Enter Machina Carnot once per turn. Once per turn, if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make this card gain 1000 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard, except from hand or deck, shuffle it into the deck. Hey, so it is an light level 10 machine, which is pretty good. And it's quite generic actually. So whenever your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or in the graveyard, you can spend some of this card from your hand. So basically, if you get hand trap, you can spend some of this card from your hand. That's pretty cool. So, quite an interesting card actually. Right, we're almost done with the right side of the box. Just gonna speed up. Okay, never mind. I saw the next card. We have one of the brand new U Bell effect monsters. So yeah, this is this is the U Bell uh, Super Rare, which is treated. If I don't, it does it do, No, it's. I think. I don't think it's treated as the normal U Bell. I can't remember. Yet. Right. Last pack from the right side, let's see what we end off with. We have opened a lot of foils from the right side, which is surprising. So yeah. Okay, okay, you just got a wrap. Okay, so from the right side, as you can see here, okay, I'm gonna separate the supers and the ultras. So we have three supers. Is it three? Yeah, three supers. One, three ultras, one ultimate. So we are left with our secret. Or our quarter century. Let's see what we have for this box. So hopefully getting a quarter century. I cannot open the pack. Ah, okay. That's it. Scissors. Okay. See here, Kelbacks also. I believe it's my play. I have a playset of that card already. Interesting. We have a rare, yes, another U Bell spell. Very nice. Alright, guys, you know what? The, the next pack almost, I'm just gonna use a scissors to end. It's so hard to open, I can't rip it. Like, what's wrong with the packs nowadays? Okay, fish, Kelbag Sorcerers, that's a fourth copy. Red Raptor, Trap, and we have a rare. For EMP. What is EMP? I'm not sure. We want favorite one of the new archetypes. Or is it punk? I don't think it's punk, but yeah. It's a Rebo if monster. You bell spell, quick play, magic specter, link. Very nice. Red Raptors. U Bell Spell, Earthbound Fusion, and Effect Monster for a Fire Monster, looks like it. Oh my god, tired man! Oh great, I didn't cut the pack properly, so I had to cut it again. Okay, I got it. Oh, my god. 
Right. Fish. Okay. Never mind. We got one of the rank up magic for Raid Raptor. So yeah. A quick play spell. Rank up magic. Which is pretty good. Grinder, golem, fish, dog, trap. Okay, so this is our secret. So we gotten the aroma link monster in secret. So yeah, not really a secret I want to see. And it looks like the condition is pretty bad already. I swear I did not hurt the pack. So oh my god, I can't even focus. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can you can see here the top right corner is already bad from the start when I got it from the pack but yeah that's our secret here so yeah oh rip the pack okay um, goblin sorry goblin and we have a rare the rare fish I think it's a white card magic spectre karibo goblin Another rare, okay. I see this card a lot in a lot of artworks in this pack. I don't know what is this. Quite interesting. Level 6 Angel too. Fish. Dragon. Fish. Quick play. A rare, if a rare fusion monster. My card just flew. Oh my god, hold on guys. Okay guys, sorry about that. So, apparently we got a foil here. So let's just see. This is a counter trap. If I'm not wrong, this is something like the another divine wrath or something like that. This card is actually pretty strong. So yeah, very good to see to get it. Might be a staple in the future. Who knows? You know what, guys? I give up. I'm just gonna use scissors. Screw this. I'm tired. Right, it's a quick play, rare if rare. Right, see here, fish. I'm almost done with this box guys, so yeah, I think it's like two more packs left, yeah. Okay, see here, big raptor, trap. Okay, we have the Magic is a Exceed monster and I believe it's from Magic Spectres. Of course, it's a Pendulum Exceed, so let's see what it does here. So we have Magic Spectre Draco. So its Pendulum effect is if I, if you have a Magic Spectre or Draco Slayer card in your Pendulum Zone, you can add one Magic Spectre card from your deck to your hand. Then you can destroy one card in your Pendulum Zone. You can use it back once per turn. Monster effect is a, a requirement is two level four monsters. You, if you if you can pendulum summon level 4, you can pendulum, pendulum summon this face up card from your extra deck. If a monster is tributed while this monster is on the field, you can attach one material from this card. So you can summon one level 6 or lower wind spell caster monster from your deck. You can only use this effect of this card up to twice per turn. It's not once per turn, but twice per turn, okay? If this card in the monster zone, it's destroyed by Battle of Arcade Effect or Tributed, you can place it in your Pendulum Zone. So, it is Magic Spectre plus Draco Slayer, which is pretty interesting. Okay, I haven't seen Draco Slayer getting, getting support in a while, but yeah, this is a Magic Spectre and a Draco Slayer card. So yeah, that is very nice. So, that I believe that is our last foil from the box. So, let's just open the last pack and see here. Okay, that one read properly. So yeah, that isn't that bad. Okay. Karibo. And yep, it's a Red Raptor Rare. So yep, that is our first box, guys. Not too bad for our first box. Our secret, not really that exciting, but still, it's a uh, aroma card. This card actually this card is actually pretty strong actually. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So for the ultras here, you can see three ultras ultimate our secret then for the supers we have this so what i'm quite happy to pull is this this is like the so-called like i said the divine rap so this card might be a staple so if you get it hold, i suggest hold on to it first 
Okay, so that is our first box guys, so let me just clear out all the rubbish and just open our second box, so be right back. Alright guys, that's our second box, let's just finish this up the opening here. Speed up, I'll speed up this box guys, because we kind of busy, oh my god, I just cut through the box, oh my god, let's screw it. Alright, I got it. I tented the box by accident, but yeah. Oops, on my part. Right, let's see here, Phantom Nightmare, plus one bonus pack. And then the packs to open up. Right, start with the right side again. Oh, that bear pack was easy to open. Right, Red Raptors, Dragon, New Bell Spell, Trap, and Continuous. Is that continuous or is that a normal spell? Oh, that, was that one was easy to open too. Rhino Golem. Another rare spell. Nothing too exciting yet. Magic Spectre. Goblin. Quick play, another U Bell spell, okay, we're getting a lot of rest, no foils yet, that's very interesting. Great Raptors, Hamster. Oh, another one of the Metamorphosis, that's nice. Magic Spectre. Grind the Golem again, that's cool. Oh, there we go, so we have gotten U Bell Dash. Okay, I'm trying to pronounce it again. Das Eggwig Libier Watcher. So yeah, this is the cover card of the set as you can see here. Very, very nice. It's just sadly just an ultra rare, but yeah, this card is insane. You want to know what it does? Watch my Ubel video, man. I already gone through the effect. This card is insane. The burn damage for that card does is insane, man. Alright, let's crack here. Right. Yeah, there's no there's not much foils on the right side here. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I, I, I wrap that pack around. Fish. Another red raptor quick play. The rank up magic, that's pretty cool. Uvel. Another rare. No foils, but we only have like, like three packs from the right side, so yeah. Wait, Raptors, Fish. Oh, okay, never mind. We gotten our secret, and it is the Red Raptor Exit Monster. The new boss card. So let's just see what it does. So we have Red Raptor Rising Rebellion Falcon. So it is a rank 13. It's not even a rank child, but a 13. Okay. Summary coins is 5 level 13 wing beast monster. That is impossible to do. Then if this guy succeeds someone, you can destroy as many cards or your opponent controls as possible. Then if this card is three or more red raptor exceed monster with different names as material. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's total original attack. Unaffected by other card effects. Once per turn, you can detach 3 materials from this card target, then target 1 Red Raptor XE monster in your graveyard. Replace this effect with that monster's original effect until the end phase. So yeah, wow, this card is really strong. So this is the, uh, the so-called real ultimate falcon here. So when it's summoned, you can blow up, technically blow up the whole field and then you can, if it has 3 exit monsters and it has material, you can even inflict burn damage, which is pretty insane. And then the best part, he's unaffected by anything. So, so even your own car, so you can safely dark hole and he will still be on the field. So yeah, this card, insane. So that's, sadly, that's our secret. So we're not going to get us quarter century anymore unless we get from the uh, plus one bonus pack which I'm hoping that is the case so yeah back from the right side let's see what we end up with ok 
Okay, we end off with... Nope, that's a rare. Okay, so this is one of the Dark Guardian monster. Yeah, this is literally the Dark Guardian. They finally printed it after like, what? 14 years? 15 years? So yeah, that's quite interesting. Right, so that is the right side. Let's move on to the left side here and finish up the opening. Magic Spectre Fish. Okay, another Red Raptor Exceed Monster for Super Rare. It looks like Force Tricks actually. This, it looks like an upgraded version of Force Tricks. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right here, let's see. Fish. Okay, never mind. We got the Ultimate Rare Goblin Exceed. So, yeah, that's very nice. Looks really nice. Look at that. Ultimate Rare. So all our high rarities are all up, so we just need to see what ultra rares do we get. Right here, a rare. Right here, fish. Another rare, you bell spell. Fish, hamster. Okay, a super rare. What is this? Looks pretty interesting. Right, let's see. Kelbeck Sorceress. Okay, we have another ultra rare. So this is probably one of the new archetype from this pack. Let's see what it does. Okay, we have Enig Enig Master Pack Beat. So. One tuner plus one non-tuner is generic, that's nice. If this card is synchro summon or sent to the graveyard, you can target one monster in your graveyard or face up monster your opponent controls. Discard one card if you do place a targeted monster face up in its owner's spell and trap zone as a continuous trap. Once during either player's turn, while this card is treated as a continuous trap, you can summon one face up monster from your spell and trap zone. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, interesting. So it places your opponent's stuff into the your opponent's monster as a face up continuous trap. And if he he's treated as a continuous trap, you spend some one face up monster from your spell and trap zone. Okay. Yeah, that is quite interesting. Quite interesting card. A super rare. Oh, what's this? It's a fire dragon. That looks cool. Oh, wait. I remember now. So, this is the new Horus effect monster. So, yeah, yeah. The Horus have gotten another uh, new effect monster. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Looks pretty cool. I think I left with like what? One foil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One foil left. Let's see what we get here. Alright. So it's another Magic Spectre Exit Monster. Magic Spectre Draco, yeah, that's the name. So, yeah. so I'm guessing that is our last foil. I don't think we'll be getting any more foils now. Oh, never mind, I was wrong. So we got one more Super Rare. This is, an, I think it's a Aromage Super Rare. That's pretty good, guys. So that should be our last foil. Alright. Last pack. Let's see what we end off with. Okay, I mean, I don't like I said. We'll just. I don't think there's any more foils in this box anymore. We're just. We're just gonna open up and see. Yep. Ew. Okay. Not. Not too. Not. Not too bad. We end off with a nice Ubel continuous trap card. That's very nice. So it's my second box, guys. So I have to. Ah, uh, not too bad, I guess, because our secret is not really that amazing but yeah it's one of the new red raptors red raptors you know always need a support it's good to have, to have for them to get support actually so yeah that's actually pretty nice so let me just clear up everything then we're gonna open the plus one bonus pack and then the uh, hidden chapter pack volume 3 so be right all right so let's finish off the opening guys so we have the hidden chapter pack volume 3 and then the plus one bonus pack from phantom nightmare so, I'm just going to start with the Hidden Chapter Pack Volume 3 because I want to know what's inside this. I'm really interested to know what's inside this pack. So 
So I just want to use the scissors to cut it. Right. So for our first pack, we have ah number fifty. Okay, that's nice. Just a very nice reprint. So this is another V jump. I'm pretty sure hidden chapter packs are like reprints of uh V jumps. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Or any magazine uh promo cards released in the past. So let's just see. And the next one we have ah D D D Leonidas. So fifth number fifty and Leonidas. Pretty cool. So that is the hidden chapter pack. Now, the main attraction, the plus one bonus pack. Can we get a quarter century? Let's see. Hopefully we can. Because I haven't put a quarter century secret in a while. So let's see. We have... Oh, oh, oh my god, we do get one. Okay, that is nice. We have a quarter century secret rare for this fire link monster. Let's just see what it does here. Okay, so we have Prometheum Princess Bestower of Flames. So, two effect monsters. You can, it's uh, Link 3. And then you can not special summon monsters except fire monsters. You can only use each effect, each of the following effects of Prometheum Princess Bestower of Flames once per turn. During your main phase, you special summon one fire monster from your graveyard. If a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can target one fire monster you control and one monster your opponent controls destroy them if you do special summon this card so yeah this is a generic support for fire decks anything yeah this is actually pretty strong and he, he, he basically bring herself back so yeah that is a nice quarter century secret let me just yeah let me yeah there we go you see that it's a, don't know why i can't focus come on focus yeah, yeah there we go you see the 25th anniversary icon over there yeah that is really nice so yeah we do get one that's very exciting so last pack let's see here can we pull another one it would be mind-blowing if we can pull another one let's see here and we have here hook on just a regular ultra rare 40 red raptor exit monster but yep that's that's pretty cool. So that is my box opening of the Phantom Nightmare box, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. So, honestly speaking, I bought this pack for fun. Actually, I don't. I, there's nothing I need here from this pack. I mean, maybe I might make a U belt deck if if I feel like it. But overall, our box pretty good. We got a quarter century secret out of two boxes. That's pretty amazing, and I'm pretty sure this. Quarter Century Seeker Ram is probably one of the better ones to pull from this box. Just look at the artwork. That's amazing. So, yep, that is the box opening, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. If you didn't know, guys, I have social media, and you can follow me in my links in the description box down below. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jason Undisputed, signing off.